if uh, you all know how to do this. Eh? Okay, so you are asked to expand the following. You are asked to expand uh, 2x minus 5 bracket square. Okay, so 2x. Wait, hold on. Uh. Uh, 2x. Two x minus five bracket square. Okay, so there are several ways to do this. One way to do it is to tell yourself. Okay, let me let me write it down here. Uh, one way to do it is to tell yourself. Okay, I know that there is this thing called a minus b bracket square. Uh, this is an algebraic identity, yeah. And then you know that oh. When I see this, uh, I know it should be a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, remember uh, guys, this one must memorize. Uh, a plus b bracket square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Ideally, you all would have memorized this already. Lah. Okay, so one way is we, we go with what we have memorized. So we know that uh, for this 2x minus 5, uh, it would be this one here. Uh, this, this is what we will use. This is what's relevant. Eh? So we are going to use a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is your a and this is your b. So your a square is going to be 4x square. I don't forget the 2 in front, eh, guys. So 2x bracket square will give me 4x square and 5 square will give me 25 so so just just to rewrite that again eh? so if I have a minus b bracket square this is a square minus 2ab plus b square so this is your a square over here your 4x square uh, minus 2ab so minus 2 times 2x why am I using a different color wait, wait, wait. let me switch to black uh, so many colors minus 2 bracket 2x bracket 5 ok so this one is your minus 2ab ok uh, I'm, I'm color coding it lah so that you all can see uh, for those of you all who still don't seem to understand this. Uh. And then you have plus b square. So plus b square will be plus 25. So again, if I use a different color for this, let's go with blue. Uh, this is plus b square. Plus b square is your plus 25. Okay. And then, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's use a different color here. Okay, this is your A. This is your A. This is your... Uh, what color can I use here? This is your B. This is your B. Okay? So, I hope this is very clear for all of you all. Huh? So, this is A. This is A. This is B. This is B. This is A square. So, A square is going to be 2x bracket square, which is 4x square. Okay? And then... Minus 2ab, so minus 2 times a times b, so minus 2 times 2x times 5, plus b square, so plus 25. Okay, so this will give me 4x square. Uh, what happens when you take 2 times 2x, you get 4x. 4x times 5 will give me minus 20x. So minus 20x plus 25. Okay. So those of y'all who got the answer as A, well done. Now, assuming you have not memorized this, uh, assuming you have not memorized this, there is another method you can use. It's called the rainbow method. You guys have heard about the rainbow method? Comment yes if you've heard about the rainbow method. No need to sub the negative for the B. Uh, B, uh, B. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. Uh, good question, but no. Okay, so 
If you're using method one, which is the memorization method, then you should see that ah, one is A minus B, one is A plus B. So if there is a minus here, there will be a minus here. If there is a plus here, there will be a plus here. Other than that, the two expansions are the same. Okay? Okay, so if you if you have not memorized this, huh, I don't want to say if you don't want to memorize huh, because everybody will say, oh, they don't want to memorize. Please memorize this. Huh. But if you have not memorized yet, then you can use what is known as the rainbow method. So I will show you all the rainbow method here. Okay, maybe I drag this question down. Copy. Okay, paste. Uh, so you can use what is known as the rainbow method. Okay guys, so the rainbow method here is you take 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5, and then you do this, 2x times 2x, first term times first term, 2x times minus 5, first term times second term, second term times first term, minus 5 times 2x, ah, this one you must include the negative, this one you must include the negative for the negative 5, huh? And then negative 5 times negative 5. Okay? So what will this give you? So 2x multiply 2x will give me 4x square. Okay? Will give me 4x square. 2x multiply minus 5, negative 10x. Minus 5 multiply 2x again, another negative 10x. And then minus 5 minus 5 will give me positive 25 or negative 5 negative 5 will give me positive 25 so this will give me 4x square minus 20x plus 25 so you see you get back the same answer lah. Uh, you get back the same answer using the rainbow method so that is for those who have not memorized the the formula okay okay guys so this is a very quick introduction into expansion uh, some of y'all find it very easy. Some of y'all even uh, after many many times of doing it, uh, you find that it's difficult. You cannot do. Don't give up, guys. Okay, maths don't give up. Uh. Very important. Uh. You want to do well in maths, you cannot give up. Uh. Okay, O level coming soon. Uh. Uh, I hope y'all weren't those few who were affected by the mobile guardian hacking. Uh. Uh, then you lost all your notes. Very sad. Uh. O level coming up soon. But don't give up, lah. Uh. Uh, even if you lost your notes, you were you were one of those who were affected by the hacking. Uh, don't don't give up. Okay, O level is very soon, guys. Okay, uh, guys, please help me to like and share the video, please. Like and share the video. Share with your friends. Okay, so fam formula list. Uh, so to the topic today is expansion, and uh, they they come up with four formulas. Actually, rainbow method is not a formula lah. Is rainbow method a formula? It's not really considered a formula. So you have you have formula 1, 2, and 3, and then you have the rainbow method, which works for all the expansions that you want to do. So anytime you want to expand something, you use rainbow method. It's a foolproof method. Uh, but it will take you a bit more time. If you memorize the formula, obviously you get it done a lot faster, isn't it? Uh, okay, guys. So formula 1. Uh, not, not formula 1, not the racing formula 1. Uh. Formula 1, that means the, the first formula of the expansion is A plus B bracket square equals to A square plus 2AB plus B square. So what you notice about this? Uh -huh. There are two terms inside here, but over here there's three terms. Why do I say this? Uh? Because in all of my years uh, giving maths tuition, uh, so many times I see students, uh, they do this, uh, guys. It's very sad. Come on, I'll show you what they do. Uh. They will say... A plus B bracket square equals to A square plus B square. Uh, this is a common misconception. Misconception. So please, uh, don't fall into this trap uh, where you say, Oh, A plus B bracket square. Uh. A square plus B square. Uh. Uh, no. Uh. Uh, A plus B bracket square is A square plus 2AB plus plus b square okay now what about a b bracket square ah uh, this one different this one will be a square b square ah uh, this one yes okay you got two terms inside here 
Actually, it's not two terms. Ah. It's, it's one term. Ah. It's, it's made up of two numbers or two things which are multiplied together. Ah. So, you have A square, B square. Okay, but if there's an A plus B bracket square, it becomes A square plus 2AB plus B square. Remember, ah, please. Ah. Okay, formula number two, A minus B bracket square. So, now, ah, instead of a plus, you have a minus, ah, guys. Instead of a plus, you have a mi minus. And then... Ah, you what do you find? Okay, the difference is this one. There's a minus here. Huh? Over here is a plus. Over here is a mi minus. Other than that, everything else is the same. Okay, this one, ah, guys, very important. You must know this when you are doing completing the square. Okay, so I will write it down here. Uh, must know this. must know this when doing completing the square okay guys so this is very very important eh? uh, must know this when doing completing the square okay uh, this this one formula 2 and formula 1 uh, I always I always 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 when I teach completing the square I always tell my students you must firstly memorize formula 1 and formula 2 of the expansion formulas okay guys okay uh, guys today my number is a bit low help me to like and share the video please uh, ask your friends to join in whatsapp your friends share the link with your friends over whatsapp uh, tell them never mind they want to watch TV in the background also can uh, but listen to me at the same time uh. Uh, Please, uh, please Okay, and then formula number 3 Formula number 3 is uh, What we call the difference of the squares Okay, this is called Difference Of the Squares uh, So you see You have A square minus B square uh, a square minus B square equals to A plus B, A minus B. This one, very, very important when you do factorization of two terms. Okay, not so much expansion. More when you do factorization, uh, you find it's very useful uh, to know this. A square minus B square equals to A plus B, A minus, A minus B. So these are your, you know, when we talk about algebra, always we talk about expansion, factorization, expansion, factorization. Guys, algebra is your bread and butter lah. You all must be good in algebra. If you're not good in algebra, you must work hard on it lah. Ah, if you're in sec 4, ah, you, you, you might want to look at your sec 1, sec 2 textbook or your sec 1, sec 2 assessment books. Make sure ah, this is something that you all can do lah. Ah, because trust me lah, when it comes to algebra, it's not just about your O levels no. When you go on to JC or poly or university, ah, ah, then everything will boil down to how well you can do algebra. Okay, for your maths lah, for your maths. Of course, for other subjects, if, you, if you're not planning to go into engineering or if you want to do something else which is not maths related lah, uh, then of course, uh, no, 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 no chance for you to use this beyond your secondary school lah. Huh? Let's say you want to go and uh, learn, uh, what, what is it that you can learn lah, this is, uh, maybe MassCom lah. If you want to do MassCom, I don't think you need to do this in poly lah. Huh? But if you are planning to do engineering or business management, all this, uh, uh, all this must know. Lah. Okay, let's go to question number two. Lah. Question number two. So, expand 3A plus 2 bracket square. Uh, very easy. Lah. Today, the question so relax. Lah. No need to stress. Is AMF or EMF harder? Uh, I think most people will tell you that AMF is harder. Lah. That's why AMF only a select group of students can take. Uh, EMF usually everybody will be required to take Okay uh, But EMF also not easy lah uh, Some people here uh, Oh e e EMF is harder than EMF if EMF I don't need to study uh. No uh, not like that uh. EMF also must study uh. Uh, EMF also must study Okay guys come let's try and do this question uh. Uh, So uh, Can the answer be B? Uh, obviously the answer cannot be B uh. Uh, Just now they say about the misconception right uh, So I tell you first uh, The answer is not B Okay, and the answer cannot be D lah. Because D means you are a loser. You don't want to answer. You just say, I don't know. Huh? So, it's either A or C. Okay? Uh, somebody has already answered C. 
Okay, another person also answered C. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you for uh, listening in and listening to me rant and, uh, you know, trying to do the questions along with me. Okay, please help me to like the video, guys. Help me to like the video, share the videos. Uh, follow Master Mats. Uh, we got a new center just open at Jurong, Jurong East, I think. Uh, Jurong East or don't, somewhere in Jurong, I don't know. I don't stay in Jurong, I don't know. Uh, to me, Jurong all the same. Okay, so how do we do this question? Uh? So again, we can do rainbow method or we can use the formula 1. So formula 1, that means we know that it, this must be 3a bracket square plus 2 bracket 3a 2 plus 2 bracket square. Okay, so 9a square plus... Uh, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3, 8, 12A plus 4. Okay? So, answer is C. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so, those who got C, well done. Again, if we wanted to use the rainbow method, we can 3A plus 2, 3A plus 2, 3A times 3A. 3a times 2, 2 times 3a, 2 times 2. Uh, so 3a times 3a, that's 9a square. 3a times 2, that's 6a. 2 times 3a, that's 6a. 2 times 2, that's 4. So you will get 9a square plus 12a plus 4. Okay? So same, same answer, different method. Uh, same answer, different, different method. Okay, guys. Any questions? Y'all got any questions about this? Not clear anything? Uh, or you want to share your own question in the comments? Please, by all means. Huh? Uh, I got about 7 people on TikTok and about 5 or 6 people on Instagram. Okay, lah. Not too bad. Lah. Not too bad the numbers tonight. Uh, hopefully, more can join us soon. Okay, we are already in the month of August. Huh? Our exams are in October. So, not a lot of time. Huh? By the way, uh, for those of you celebrating National Day tomorrow in school, uh, happy National Day. Eh? Tomorrow half day, right? Uh, can come home and, and study hard. Eh? Uh, don't, don't, don't go out with your friends after the half day. Eh? Go home and study. Eh? Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. How many questions do we have today? We got... Wow, what's this? Okay, we got two more questions. Eh? We got two more questions. Okay, uh, finally we got one... Slightly harder one. Ah, it's an interesting question. Eh? Okay, let's see how many of you can answer this one. Ah, given that A minus B equals to 4 and A square plus B square equals to 12, find the value of A, A, B. Ah, find the value of A, B. Okay, let's see if you can do this. Okay, we'll go through the question in about 2 minutes. Uh, now the time is 8.22. Uh, 3 minutes. Uh, we'll start. We'll, we'll go through at 8.25. Uh. Uh, we'll go through at 8.25. Okay, so give you all some time to think about it.
Okay. Uh, I got some interesting questions from uh, this book here. Mentor Mathematics Volume A. Uh, so this for all levels. So after we finish our question 3 and question 4, I would like to take the opportunity uh, to go through some questions with you all here. Okay. Let's see lah whether you can do. Okay. So uh, question 3, given that A minus B equals to 4 and A square plus B square equals to 12, find the value of A, B. So, what can we do with this A minus B, guys? So, we know that A minus B equals to 4. So, obviously, A minus B. And then we know that A square plus B square equals to 12. Then, you want to find the value of A, B. So, sometimes in maths, uh, a bit of trial and error is required. Lah. So, I will try to square A minus B. Uh, why? Because... I believe that you know that is something that I can work with to try and find my a b because I know uh, that a minus b bracket square will give me that two a b in the middle, isn't it? Uh, so this will give me a square minus two a b plus b square. Correct. So this will be a square plus b square minus 2ab and a square plus b square we know is equals to equals to 12 uh, so sometimes emacs is like this huh? you need to use your brain a bit like it's not so straightforward so this will be 12 minus 2ab okay so basically a minus b bracket square is equals to 12 minus 2ab but what else do we know? We also know that A minus B is equals to 4. Which means that A minus B bracket square is equals to 4 square, which is equals to 16. So we can say that 16 equals to 12 minus 2AB. Can you all see that? Uh, because again, uh, A minus B is equals to 4. So, if A minus B is equals to 4, A minus B bracket square is going to give me 6, 16. Now, A minus B bracket square, also we have expanded and it has given us this. So, I can take this and equate it with my 16, which is what you see in this equation here. Lah. Uh, so, now I know that 16 minus 12 equals to negative 2ab 16 minus 12 will give me 4 negative 2ab equals to 4 ab is going to be equals to 4 divided by negative 2 answer will be negative 2 ok I hope I didn't go too quickly there I hope you all understood so answer will be a huh? Can anybody very blur don't understand how this works? I hope so. I, I hope everybody watching in can understand. Eh? Uh, uh, so answer is A. Lah. Answer is A, not B. Eh? Okay? Because again, uh, some okay, more than one person is saying B. Eh? So I'm a bit worried now. Did I get it wrong? Okay, let's, let's check my work again. Eh? So... We start with knowing that A minus B equals to 4. And A square plus B square equals to 12. So if A minus B equals to 4, therefore A minus B square will be 16. Right? But A minus B bracket square is also A square minus 2AB plus B square. Which we can rearrange to put A square plus B square minus minus 2AB. Uh, a square plus B square minus 2A TB. Basically, basically, I can rearrange the terms. Uh. I can rearrange the terms. But remember, uh, the, the negative sign here needs to stick to the 2AB. Okay, so when you move the 2AB to the last term, make sure the negative sign follows. Okay, so this guy goes here. See? And then this guy has a plus in front. So when I move him here, the plus will remain. And then I know a square plus b square equals to 12. 
Uh, the question has told me that a square plus b square equals to equals to 12. So this whole thing I can equate it with 16. And then if I subtract 12 on both sides, I get 16 minus 12, which is 4. I subtract 12 on the right hand side, I'm left with negative 2ab. So if 4 is equals to negative 2ab, ab will be 4 divided by negative 2 which is negative 2 alright okay no problem for those of you all who maybe might have uh, made a slight mistake huh? at least now you know better huh? uh, so sometimes you careless then a bit of a problem lah. okay guys last question well second last question before I give you my own question from the O level book that I have okay Question number four. By the way, uh, all these notes uh, with all the annotations and all that will be shared in our Telegram group. Lah. So make sure you join us on, on Telegram, uh, Master Math Secondary. You can see there. Lah. Okay, expand and simplify. Expand and simplify. Okay. Uh, so is it A, is it C or is it D? Obviously, uh, B is not an answer. Uh. B is just someone renting. Lah. They cannot do it. They say it's complex. Don't give up, guys. Guys, help me to like and share the video, please. Help me to like and share the video with your friends. I got half an hour left in this live stream, 9 o'clock. I'm going to stop. Maybe go for a job. B is an answer. B is an answer, but it's not the answer that I want. Lah. Uh, I want either A, C or D. So, come on. Uh, 9 o'clock, I, I stop, okay? Sec 1 math. Uh, well, some people might learn this at Sec 1. Some people might learn it at Sec 2. Lah. Huh? But uh, if you're taking O-levels Then obviously All of this will be very relevant to you uh, guys. O-levels Everything under the sun So they can test you uh. Uh, Too complex for me Don't give up lah Mr. D, D lah Is this a Mr. or Mrs? Or Miss Bro I need paper and pen to Write now and I don't have uh, Then you write on your Right on your face ah. No, no, not on your face ah, sorry. Right, right on your right on your hand. Ah. Ah, right, your, right on your hand. Can you use your hand? Take out. Uh, don't have pen. Ah. Alamak, don't have pen, how to help you? Ah. Hi missus. Who is missus? Okay. Can we go through this question? I give you another three minutes. Ah. Three minutes. Uh. Take it slow lah, don't worry lah. Uh, now only 8.33. Okay, 2 more minutes. 2 more minutes, guys. 2 more minutes. Eh, yeah, alamak. Okay, sorry. Your brain cannot take it already. Ask your brain to work faster lah. To work harder. Math teacher now confirmed disappointed in me. Actually no lah. As a teacher, we don't really care what happens to our students after they leave the school. <laughs> Okay, uh, Candy, I don't know whether the answer is C or not. I got to try it out later, okay? Later, you, you, stay, you stay tuned. Uh, and then later, we will reveal the answer. In one minute's time. Guys, help me to like and share the video, please. Hello, my Instagram live only got three people left. Uh. Today's my math WA. Hope I get full marks. Okay, hopefully, yeah. Sec 2 NA maths. This one not just NA, lah. This one express also. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's go through this question. So they ask you to expand, and not only must you expand, after you expand already, yeah, they want you to simplify. They want you to simplify. So how do we exp okay so we expand first lah. We expand first lah. Okay let me let me grab this question first. 
Okay, paste it here. Okay. So, how to expand the bracket? Rainbow method lah. Uh, so, this one you cannot use A plus B bracket square or A minus B bracket square or A square minus B square. All that cannot use. You must use the rainbow method. Okay. So, I always draw my rainbow first. Uh, so that I don't get it wrong lah. Uh, don't get it wrong. Okay, so X times 1. Hold on lah. Let me erase the equal sign. Let me write it again below. X times 1 is X. X times negative 7X is negative 7X square. Negative 2 times 1, negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 7X plus 14X. Okay, this part uh, is very tricky. I will suggest you... You see, uh, there's a minus sign here, right? Uh, so you draw the, you write the minus sign here. But I will suggest even after you expand, you put a bracket first. Why do I say this? Because uh, the problem is there's a negative sign in front. You do not want to have a case where you are expanding and because of that negative sign, you actually you are supposed to change the sign from a plus to a minus or from a minus to a plus but instead of doing that you did not do that uh, so i always i tell my students uh, step by step step by step uh, we do we do the expansion step by step so we expand first but we keep it inside a bracket okay uh, so let's take 2 times 2x 2 times 2x will give me 4 4x 2 times 11 will give me plus 22. Minus 3x and 2x will give me minus 6x square. And minus 3x and 11 will give me minus 33x. So again, uh, this is all algebra that you should know. Now, you see, uh, this negative sign here means that now my 4x, when I open the bracket, uh, my 4x will be negative. My 22 will also be negative. My 6x square will be positive because it has a negative sign here. So, negative sign meets negative sign will become positive. And my 33x from a negative, it will become positive. Okay, so that's why I, I like to do things step by step. And I like to leave it in the bracket for as long as I can. So that I don't get the sign wrong. Because once you get the sign wrong, then everything becomes wrong. Okay. So now we're going to open up the bracket, the, the square bracket. Okay, and I hope you all saw, uh, I, I, I changed the, I changed the signs. Uh. Okay, let me just erase that and rewrite that again. Uh, I changed the sign to, from negative to positive and from positive to neg negative. Now I'm going to simplify. I'm going to simplify. What do I mean by I'm going to simplify, guys? All the x's, I'm going to have to group them together. All the x squares, I'm going to have to group them together. And all the numbers, the ones without the x, I'm going to have to group them together. I cannot just give you answer like that. Huh? Must group together. Okay, so let's let's do x square first. Lah. So you have minus 7x square or negative 7x square. You have plus 6x square. So obviously that will give you negative x square now for the x you have positive x here plus 14x so that's 15x 15x minus 4x that's 11x 11x plus 33x that's 44x so this will be plus 44x now what about the constant term or the term without the x you have a minus 2 you have a minus 22. Okay? So that will give me negative or minus 20, 24. Okay, guys? So this is my final answer. X squared or negative X squared plus 44X minus 24. So answer is C. Lah. So how many of you got C as answer? Uh, if you got C as answer, that means you're correct. Okay? 
Why isn't the answer B? Ayo. Okay, so the answer is the answer is C. Ah, Candy, well done, you got it correct. Uh, well done. Okay, okay, guys, let's let's move on, ah, huh? move on. Okay, so uh, of obviously this this whole thing you don't need to know, lah. Uh, but it's just <clears throat> something additional we added to the notes just to make it interesting. So what happens if instead of a plus b to the power of two, you had a plus b to the power of three? Or you had a plus b to the power of 4. Or you had a plus b to the power of 5. So you see here, there's actually a pattern that emerges. Okay? So what is the pattern? Uh, okay, see? There's a 1 here. And there's a 1 here. 1, 1, 1, 1. So the first term will always have a coefficient of 1. Okay? Uh, but here, the a is power 1. Not there, because it's power 1, right? Here the a is power 2 because it's power 2. Here a power 3, power 3. Okay, you can see that. Eh? Uh, then what about as you move further in? Okay, so here is 1 and then here's 1, here's 1. Ah, see? Here also 1, here 1. But now this is 2. This one here is 1, here is 1. But here is 3 and 3, see? So it's 1, 3, 3, 1. This one will be 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. This one will be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. See? So there's, there's a bit of a pattern. I, I don't really know how the pattern looks, to be honest. Okay. So we've got about 20 minutes left. I don't want to end the session now. I'm supposed to end the session at 9 o'clock. So what's going to happen is we can take a one-minute break for me to scan the, the question. And then we'll go through the O-level question that I was telling you all about. Okay, which looks quite tricky. So I hope you all can stay tuned until 9 o'clock at least. And then, you know, we can solve this question together. Okay, give me one minute uh, just to scan the question. Okay guys, so I've got the question here and I'm going to put it in my Notability app. Okay, so uh, let's see how many people are still with me. Okay, I've got three people on TikTok and three people on Instagram. All right. Now I've got two people on Instagram. Okay, we're losing people. Okay, so given that 9y square minus 24y plus c is a perfect square, find the value of c. And then for part b, simplify x square minus x plus y, x minus y. Hence, without the use of a calculator, evaluate 105 square minus 130 times 80. So, for those of you all who are still with me, I give you all, now it's the time is 8.45, I give you all 5 minutes scan. 
Uh, 5 minutes, try and complete this question And then we'll go through at 8.50 lah Jump. Okay, so this is a special challenge eh, For those of you all who are still here lah uh, The rest of them maybe Eating their dinner already Or going to sleep Or playing games I don't know Why without a calculator? I thought secondary school can use calculator Okay, good question. Because uh, they cannot give you two marks just for taking 105 square minus 130 times 80 and keying it into a calculator. So when they say without the use of a calculator, what they mean to say is you must use a method that does not involve using the calculator. Uh, you get what I mean? Right? Because any monkey can just pick up the calculator and key in 105 square minus 130 times 80. Uh, you cannot get two marks just for doing that lah. Uh, you get the two marks here for using that expression in B to evaluate that that hundred and five square minus hundred and thirty times eighty. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying lah. But basically, yes, you are allowed to bring a calculator into the exam hall. But for that part of that question, they want you to. Can we just show working and use calculator? Uh you can you can show working you have to show working obviously but when you show working you will realize there's no need for you to use a calculator lah. Uh, that's that's the thing lah. you when you show your working you realize that actually it can be easily solved without the use of a calculator I did that for wa1 still got marks but sure don't know how I did the working uh, so <clears throat> maybe they might give you some marks out of sympathy I don't know I never learn this. This one is expansion. Ah. This is your algebraic expansion. Guys, the questions that you get in the exam ah, will not be so straightforward. No. Uh, it involves a lot of uh, thinking, a lot of hard work. Okay, so cannot just, wow, I study a bit then I can get my A1. Ah. Uh, doesn't work like that. Lah. Okay, guys. Okay, time now is 8.47. We'll, we'll go through this question in 3 minutes time. Uh, the, the, the question must strike a bit of fear in you all. If not, it's not a good question.
Okay, I think the time now is 8.50. Uh, let's go through this question. Now, given that 9y square minus 24y plus c is a perfect square, find the value of c. So what's a perfect square, guys? A perfect square is basically a number or a value, okay, where if you were to square root that number or you were to square root that value, you will get a whole number or an integer. You will not get a decimal. Uh, you will not get a decimal, you will not get a fraction. Example, 16. Uh, 16 is a perfect square. You square root 16, you get 4. 25 is a perfect square. You square root 25, you get 5. But in the context of algebra, uh, when you have three terms like this, and you are asked to put them in a perfect square format, that means you are trying to put them into the format of a plus b bracket square or a minus b bracket square okay so these are these are your perfect squares these are perfect squares okay that's why i said just now for you to do completing the square you need to be able to Memorize your A plus B bracket square, your A minus B bracket square. Very important. Okay, so uh, we are going to... See, so just now what we had was we had the expansion. Uh, now we are going to try to fit this into either this or this. So obviously, because of the minus sign over here, you know, intuitively you know... Intuitively, you know that uh, it's going to fit into this, right? So let's let's do that. So we know that nine y square minus twenty four y plus c is going to be equals to a square minus two ab plus b square. So so this one, remember this. This one will give me a square minus two ab plus b square huh? so memorize this huh? so where is your a square what is your a square going to be your a square is going to be 9y square so we're going to we're going to fit it into this uh, minus 2 bracket what is my a my a is 3y uh, so what will my what will my b become uh, my B will become 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 4 uh, My B will become 4 Plus C Okay So I realize now that eh, This is 4 And this is C My C is supposed to be my B square right uh, So if this is B, my B square will be 16. So my C is 16. Uh, do you get it? So your C should be 16. Uh, not 8. Uh. Uh, maybe you all thought 4 times 2. Like it's not 4 times 2. It's 4 square. So, 4 square is 16. Okay, but in your working, don't, don't put this. Uh. Uh, this, one, this, one is just, this one is just for me to explain it to you. Okay, so your working just needs to be uh, this, this, and this. Okay, uh, all these annotations, of course, just for you to understand the working better. Okay, uh, so maybe I, I use a different color for that. Uh. Okay guys, so let's move on to part B. 
Part B, they tell us to first simplify that. Uh, so you see, for, for simplifying that, you get two marks. Uh, so that's quite easy, right? I think everybody should be able to simplify. So let's do that. Uh. So simplify x square minus x plus y, x minus y. So we know that x plus y, x minus y will give me x square minus y square. So this is x square minus x square plus y square. Because when you open up the bracket, the minus over here becomes a plus. Right? So x square minus x square is 0. 0 plus y square will give me y. Y square. Alright guys. Okay. So this is part B or the first part of part B. So for this you get 2 marks. Uh, if you all are able to show me this, you get 2 marks. Now, hence, without the use of a calculator, evaluate this. Okay, so let me just copy this. And put it down here. Alamak. Okay, then let's try that again. 105 square minus 130 times 80. Okay. 105 square minus... 130 times 80. Now, how are we going to evaluate this using this? Now, why must we use this? Because they use the word hands. Uh, they, they use the word hands. So when they use the word hands, uh, that means your working has to link back to what you have already done, uh, guys. Okay, so you see that, eh? Here got x square. Then this one is 105 square. Ah, so the link is there. So you know that your x has to be 105. So if your x is 105, the question then becomes, what is my y? Ah, my y becomes 25. Can you see that? Because this will be 105, or rather I'll put, this will be x plus y, and this will be x minus y. And this is my x. So 105 square minus 105 plus 25. 105 minus 25. Okay, let me let me rewrite that. It's a bit unclear, I think. Let me rewrite that. Huh? 105 square minus 105 plus 25, which will give me 130. 105 minus 25, which will give me 80. And so they will always give you some numbers that you can use. Lah. Some numbers that you can use to find the, the Y or to find the X. Eh? It's just a case of... That's why, you see, I, I, I feel very worried when I see youngsters keep on using calculator. Yeah, because sometimes the more you use a calculator, the more difficult it will be for you to actually uh, intuitively solve these kind of questions. Uh. Uh, sometimes you need to use your brain a bit, uh, to, to put it bluntly. Uh. Okay guys, so now we know our Y. Uh, we know our Y is 25. Easy, uh. we know this will be 25 square. Because, see, this thing when we simplify, ultimately we will get Y square. So, do we need to deal with the 105 anymore? Don't need. We just do it like that. Uh, so, 25 square. 25 times 25 will give me 625. Uh, so, I don't need to use a calculator for this. Uh, so, this is what they mean. Without using a calculator, evaluate this. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the session. I hope it benefited you in some way. Uh, this will also be shared in your in the Telegram channel, uh, the annotations that I have here. Not 525, uh, rich quit, it's uh, 625. 25 times 25, I believe it should be 625. Uh. Okay, so if there's uh, no more questions from you all, we can end our session here. 
Okay, see you all. Bye-bye.